video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to make an ankle bracelet and a braid in the same video. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get started. Right, so you will need a scissors. <laughs> no. centimeters I don't know how much like 24 inches is in centimeters that was my pig just like a flying pig <laughs> flying pig Point next and you said pigs could not fly uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny ma by the way my name is Maggie but my little brother calls me Mag so if you hear saying oh that was a good one Meg hi ma it's my little brother tell them my name my little brother's name is Vinny he just wanted me to tell you that Woo! the pig is coming in again <laughs> Vinny stop it <laughs> you go out <laughs> you fall for it I'm a little creeped out now <laughs> so you will need if you want to do a hair braid like you want to do it to like kind of suit your hair. I'm not asking you to like get a measuring tape and measure your hair or anything. Because you know, it's pretty hard. I've never tried it. Never. You don't have to do anything. So, like, I said the lack word 
the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, my hair, I'm doing about Ooh. 38 inches. The flying pig is in there. The flying pig is called Zoe. So, for my hair, I'm doing about 38 inches. Now, I've already cut this. If you remember my five other attempts, which <laughs> none of you will actually know until you like see this video. And now, okay. so yeah, this is just like three yeah. inches. And then when E did it, we do. Yes, I remember that. Um, and now you can like chuck the tape measure, like I had just done. Like get your tape measure and say, I don't need you no more. Woo! <laughs> Then you will need like. I don't you have you need you anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. No <laughs> way. <laughs> right. So. Right. This gets tangled up a lot, and I've untangled this lots, like lots. What? Mummy, it did for mummy. Okay. Why don't you do it for mum? Woohoo! Yeah, Vinny <laughs> will keep you entertained. I am not going to see you in a minute. Right then, I have untangled this disgrace. And a fit doll. And a fit one. So now, yeah, actually, yeah, like, you can say goodbye to tape measure until you use them again. I'm the fave, I do a fine pit, and you feel net and By the way, you'll out. need two strings of each colour, so you'll like need six strings and I'll three colours. I'll be a fine pig later. Right, the fine pig is going to go out the window. No, you didn't. So, you chop. Like that. Don't so, chop your fingers. I have now, yeah. Do not chop your fingers. A good safety advice from my four-year-old brother. And don't touch your with your arm. I don't think that's going to happen. I so think now you should have two... You should have two strings of one colour. But if you've paused it and skipped ahead, I do that when I'm watching videos. So, you know, I feel the vibe. You can do that. I do too. He does that. So, like, now I'm using, like, one of my all-time favourite colours. Well. Teal. It's teal, Vinny, not blue. Ew. <laughs> so, Ew. this is also tangled up. Ooh, a fine top coming in. <laughs> That's not long enough. That was trouble what then, that? I am now getting entertained by my four-year-old brother flicking my <laughs> my little tub thing across my desk. Why on earth did I invite him into this video? I just don't know what goes on in this crazy mind. Right, so now you should. <coughs> I don't you're saying you like. I don't got a pill at home. You just get them up next to each other. Will you stop moving my camera? You get them up next to each other and you chop. <coughs> so you do like, and they do two of that colour. A fine pig coming back! So I'm going to skip ahead. Alright, see you in a minute. I will do it. Later. Alright guys. Right, now you have got all of your three colours. You will need to make it not. Now, make sure, like, seriously guys, make sure you leave enough space. So, that's how much space I do. You just want it to have, like, enough space. I cannot say enough space enough. You need enough space, guys. So, now, what I forgot to mention at the beginning is you will also need a tape. Like, you will need tape, a clip. I've got a special quartz book. Can you stop it? That's like, I don't know if you can see that right. Mm. And it's like, it tells you how to do everything. 
But it also comes with like a board where you can make your bracelet on. That's what I do. So you're like, oh my god! It's a big book. You don't look at the page. And like, you can just clip it. You clip your bracelet there. And then you just start. It's so good. I don't know where I got it from. I will ask my mum and I'll put it in the link down below. Yeah. I think Emma knows that, Ma. So, yeah. That's what I get most of, though, no, that's where I get all of these things from. And it's, it's a really good book. And it's good because it's, like, portable. So you can take it as, like... But you basically... You need your string or else it ain't going to work, man. So, now, we are going to get started properly. Right then, I have changed position, so it is easier. You will take, you need jeans if you've not got, like, cardboard and a clip. If, or even a table. You know, like tape it onto it. So you just tape. So you just like tape it on. So what you do is you're going to clip it on. Like so. That or pin it onto your jeans or tape it onto the table or whatever. Whatever you're doing, you know. So now what you're going to do after you've tied your knot. That is very important, and I forgot to tell you. When you have sorted it, you need to tie your knot. Sorry. So now, you gather all the strings, even one out, whatever colour you want to. Don't really matter. You know? Don't matter. So now, this is really long for me. So, it's really long. So, yeah, we are going to get started. Right then, you need to know your basic left left knot okay so you get it like that and you make a number four shape it doesn't matter about the excess then you go under and through so you're going through the number four you grab that bit you pull and you pull all the way to the top make sure you don't get too tight until you get all the way up to there and you just keep doing that and you want it to get like a kind of going round shape so it's not just going down it's going round like in a circular kind of way like so it's all not it says in the book do it ten times but you can hardly see anything with it ten times so I do it just as many times as I think is okay like long enough for me long enough for you you know what I mean Mmm, buddy. So, I'm going to pause and skip. Uh, you also will need to pause. I will skip right ahead and I will see you in a minute. I'll do it with both hands. Right then, now that you've done that, it should look like this. Can you see that? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I think it should be like knotted, like all round. Mine went wrong, but yeah, I shouldn't have told you that. It is work. No, it didn't go wrong. It just got a little trap. So now you want to separate it into the three colours. So you should have two of each colour. So I've separated mine, and now you're gonna braid it for a bit. Okay? So you braid. Right then. So you braid for like for about as long as you've done your little knotty things. And then, guess what? You need it to be on a different colour. So you separate it. And leave one string. So you want to do a different colour. You don't want to do the same. Believe me. And then you just like keep doing that. So now you're doing the knots. For as long as you think you need. And then you do the braids again. And then you do the knots for as long as your hair goes. Or if <laughs> your ankle. As long as your ankle goes. You're coming all the time still. Yeah. So, yeah. I will be back in a bit. Bye bye. Bye. See, see you later. Hey guys. So, I forgot.
finished now and it mine's really long because it's my hair so yeah i finished now it looks really cool so now what you want to do when you're finished is if i was you i'd finish on like the braiding bit because it's much easier and then you want to knot it my knot went a little bit wrong as i am terrible i got a big gap and then I did, just for safe, I don't know why, but I seem to have done another braiding bit and then an accidental knot, where, which is when my braiding went wrong, but I'm not very good at it. And then I braided again and then I knotted it and of course I had a big gap. But it looks really good. And then I've just got all of this string now left. You see I've got a really long one only one I didn't use. So now what I want to do is chop it to my desired length. I don't want it to be long. just want it to be about to there. So I'm chopping it and then you know you can pin it in or if you did use it as an anklet you can wear it on your ankle. So yeah give me an idea on what you want me to do for my next video guys. I've got an idea but I need some more tips. It's a little bit of a DIY kind of one. So yeah, give me some tips on what to do. Alright guys, bye!